What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with an Amazon exclusive AEW and Rival Collection review on the Amazon exclusive AEW and Rival Collection Young Bucks Nick and Matt Jackson 2 pack. Very excited for these figures. I remember when they got leaked out, or you know, there was like an image dropped of them or whatever, that I was super hyped for them. I love the neon colors. I love the Young Bucks. I love the shirts. I love everything we're getting here. I am worried about a, a few things, not gonna lie to you. I am worried about some stuff, but we are gonna dive into the 2 pack, break everything down, see what comes of it and all those things man as you guys can see really great packaging i love the the box of this i love how they're in their signature poses you have an image of nick and matt here you have their names unrivaled collection great looking two pack it's a tag team pack as it says there as dark as it is there which begs the question i would like to know down below guys if you is there anything we can do to improve the quality of these reviews is there something you'd like to see is there something we could do to make the production better please let me know down in the comment section below for some reason youtube is having a really difficult job processing HD and so it eventually happens so if you're like sometimes if you're one of the first people to watch the review sometimes it will not go up in HD and you'll have to wait till later and then sometimes it doesn't have any issues but it, it takes forever it'll upload the video and then it says processing HD for like 50 minutes sometimes and it's just ridiculous and it hurts the upload time of these videos sometimes but on the side of the packaging you have Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson there tag team pack down here AEW logo on the back you get a great image of Matt and Nick here posing looking good get their signatures watch AEW Dynamite Nick and Matt Jackson AEW logo on the top and then as we spin it around you have the same thing there and there's no number on this I don't think no numbers no nothing like that but that is the unrivaled collection two pack from Amazon man with that being said man let's crack them out of their packaging and find out what these young bucks are all about so here are the Young Bucks spinning round and round in a review style. Liking what I'm seeing here, they absolutely have their gripes though that borderline ruin the entire two-pack, which we're going to get into. I'm sure you guys probably already know what that is or can guess what that is, but there are some encouraging things about this two-pack. There's some great things about this two-pack, which we're going to dive into, of course. We're going to compare them to the rest of their books, get into their accessories and all that stuff, but you guys know this is a two-pack and all that stuff. Also, also, let's get this out of the way right now. Nick Jackson's wearing a sleeve on his right arm, an elbow pad, and wrist tape on, on the back of the packaging to represent this figure. And Matt Jackson has black wrist tape. Why the hell couldn't we get black wrist tape and hand tape and sleeves and stuff for this figure set? Would have made the figures a lot better. I'm just putting that out there into the universe. Just, you know, take that with what you will. But with that being said, man, since they are a tag team, we're going to cover their accessories first, and then we will dive into the figures themselves and get into some comparisons. So getting into the accessories that you get with this two-pack, you do get two cloth shirts and two championship belts. No interchangeable hands or anything like that. But I really like this shirt. I really do. I like the the graphic on it I like the neon colors you got young bucks in a nice font you got the nice buck logo you got money going around killing the business logo right there the shirts are the exact same the only bummy thing about these shirts is that they stain the hell out of the torso they just they just stain the absolute hell out of the torso and that is just criminal it's criminal it can't happen the shirts look great and if you're a mock collector you know it is what it is they're just going to stain the hell out of your shirt i wish they could figure out a way to do the tassels like the bucks do but you know it's not i, I don't know it's not the hugest deal in the world but you do get the shirts and then you get the aew world tag team championships now we've seen these on multiple occasions with multiple figures across the waves that we've seen and i like these titles a lot i think they're nice little you know just uniform tag titles i think they look really good i like the details on them the colors are nice i don't have any problems with these they they feel good the straps feel good these are nice aew titles so i think they're some of the best looking in the business honestly as far as tag titles yeah aew's titles across the board are really really good i like the shape of them these are nice and uh we get to add another couple of them to the collection with this two pack so getting into the figures themselves starting out at the top of the head sculpt this is the series three nick jackson head and i actually like this head you know i think it favors him it's not like perfect by any means they're still working on it but you got the black headband going around be nice to put some zebra print or neon in there or bucks or elite or something and some neon but you do have the shoulder staining man that's just you even have like the stitches like that's how tight it is on there but you do get shoulder staining and you even get some staining down here on the lower abs which sucks there's no wrist tape or anything so it's kind of plain jane you have the same exact legs as the series seven bucks but you do have the nice young bucks you know graphic going down you got the neon green on one side with the pink young bucks and then you have the neon pink on this side in the zebra stripes going all the way down i actually like this attire a lot i like the way the colors look they're very bright and vibrant and they look good like i actually like these ties a lot better than the series seven bucks and like the lakers gear and i'm a lakers fan but this is just uh way better than the series seven but that is our nick jackson figure now let's 
get into Matt Jackson, who has the new head sculpt, and I think it's okay. It's better than the Series 3, and it's better than the Series 7. I mean, that is something that I can say, but it's still just, I don't know. I don't think it's perfect. I th still think the Series 1B is the best matte head sculpt you can buy, but if you want this look, you know, the longer hair with the beard and, like, the longer aesthetic, this is a much better option for you than Series 3 or Series 7. I like this serious face going on right here. Nice sculpt on the back, the Shawn Michaels-esque haircut. Again, you do have your shoulder staining on both sides, which does suck, and then he does have also some lower abs staining on there, but yeah, it's pretty bad as far as the stainings go, man. It's pretty bad, but they are identical pretty much from the neck down until you get to the tights again, and then it is the opposite on Nick and Matt, so you do have, you know, on the right side, it's pink with green text, and then on Nick, it is green with pink text, and then on the opposite leg, you do have the green and pink, so my idea is to make bucks in different gears. So what I plan on doing is switching the pink leg from Matt over to Nick and then having, you know, an all green Matt, an all green Nick, an all pink Matt, and an all pink Nick. And that way you have two sets of bucks in matching gear. And then you could also have your, your bucks in this gear that's mismatching. So you guys get the deal. You could have like six or eight different pairs of bucks that have this gear, but just differently. But let's get into our figure comparisons. So for your young buck figure comparisons, here is the Series 7 on Unrivaled on the left. You have the two pack in the middle and then you have the Series 3 Unrivaled on the right. We also have the Series 1 that we'll take a look at in just a moment, but you guys can see how different. You have three different heads for Matt and then you have two different heads. That's actually the Series 1 and 1B head for Nick, except it is repainted. The no neck on this mat looks terrible and then you do have this version right here and this shirt actually can go on any of these figures. It would look good on any of them, but this actually has the fringe on there, which I like a lot, but we can, you know, do some playing around because this has white wrist tape and I bet the white wrist tape looks a lot better and this is just the best dude this is the best matte head look at that look at that head that is so much better for matte but let's take this and just switch this torso right quick just to see what this looks like and yeah that looks so much better white wrist tape looks better and this head sculpt looks better so you know you just gotta play around with it and do some head swaps and stuff and I think that's why the two pack's worth it you know I just think the two pack is automatically worth it because you can do the fix ups and the swappages and make the figure look a hell of a lot better but one thing you may also want to do is take off this new two-pack mat head and put it onto the series three mat body now this is the series one b head this is not the series three head the series three head is not even that one right it's it's even uglier than that maybe I, I can't remember but look at this you can even pop this on here and now look at that now you have another look of of matt jackson so yeah you can just play around with it man there's so many different things you could do and playing around switching a roo and doing all the different things but i think the series three bucks are still my favorite bucks they just look the best they're the best aesthetic you know they, they you know they look clean and stuff but you know uh, i don't think that this two pack is going to beat the series three bucks unfortunately you know they're just not they're not up to par with that they are a cool it's a cool two pack and i like the matte head it's not perfect by any means but the staining really does a number on that but again you can't switch it you can you can do some things and play around with it but here's a look at the series one mat up next to the new two pack here and yeah i still think the series one is better than this one over here maybe i don't know the skin tone is pretty crappy doesn't look that bad on camera though and then you do have the nick which again same head sculpt as the series 7 but then you have a two pack here compared to nick i don't know you guys can play around with that and see which one you like the best but i'm all for young buck figures i think we still have yet to have like just an astonishing you know right out of the packaging perfect bucks the closest we have is the nick jackson but that wraps up your young buck figure comparisons but that pretty much wraps up our two pack of the young bucks the amazon exclusive unrivaled young bucks in the two pack from AEW and Jazzwares. I actually really like this two pack a lot. I know it's basically just a repaint with a new matte head sculpt and they have put the Series 3 Nick Jackson head onto basically the Series 7 figure and repainted it. Not a huge like, I think it's absolutely worth the pickup because you could argue this is the best gear we've seen from the Bucks and Unrivaled. I think that the Series 1 figures were solid. I know they had their skin tone issues and stuff like that, but they were solid for what they were. The jackets were nice. The Series 3 are my all time favorites I think still. The Series 7 were pretty garbage as far as their head sculpts and the way they looked aesthetically and then these are really nice I, I do like them you guys know that the the shirt obviously is going to ruin the figure before you even take it out of the packaging it's going to have the staining on the shoulder as you guys can see and it's going to have the staining on the lower abs part now that is something that is going to happen I would say if you're gonna I wouldn't even use the shirts man to be honest with you like you get the nice shirts if you care the guys don't care about it staining then go for it you know who cares it's not it's going to stain like it is absolutely going to stain you could probably get to like some custom shirts made just like them or you could just take this, buy the two pack and then remove the torso
torsos and switch them with some series 7 and put the head sculpts on there from this pack make it look better or you could switch it with the series 3 or even the series 1 you know like mix and match your parts like we did here in this video and you may enjoy them a lot better but I am one that's probably I gotta have my men on card set because it's a beautiful set mock I think if you're a mock collector it's a beautiful looking set and you're not gonna pull it out of the packaging anyway so the shoulder standing really doesn't matter I really like the gear I think it pops off nice what I'm gonna do is if these go to clearance or they get lower in value or whatever the case is I'll probably end up buying a bunch because I want one set regular I want one set in all pink I want one set in all green and then I want another set for men on card so I'll end up probably having like three or four of this set maybe even five depending on things and you know different variations and stuff but they have completely different left and right legs so if you put Matt's right leg on the Nick Jackson you can have a full pink gear and a full green gear but you'd have to do that twice so that you would have that Nick Jackson both in matching gear so that, that that's pretty cool I think that's awesome so I'll probably end up doing that at some point and if we do do that I will showcase it in this video but before we get out of here guys let's get into our random shout out I still think it's worth the pickup even though it is with its flaws it has all the weird stuff going on with the shirt and the staining that is unfortunate I don't think there's any place in that in today's action figure collecting like series one or two yeah it makes sense but now I think we should we should be by we should be right way past that you know what I mean and this shout out's going to go to Grayski slash Warren who says hey great video bud but just remember Miz was a celebrity and look what happened and Logan Paul whom I personally don't like is a natural in the ring he's already better than Dom Mysterio and a few others on the roster and I will agree while he is a great athlete and he's better than some on the roster I still don't want celebrities in my wrestling and you could argue that but I don't like the Miz anyway so it that's not really a strong argument in my opinion just because I don't even like The Miz. And it's not like he had this insane celebrity career and then jumped ship. He wasn't that big of a celebrity. Yeah, he was a celebrity, but he wasn't massive like a Logan Paul name jumping ship to WWE. I don't care if he signs a contract and is a full-blown superstar. That's awesome. That's terrific. I still don't like him in wrestling, man. I just feel like he downplays the whole element of it. If you go back to watch that contract signing video, he's like mocking Edge. He doesn't even know who he is. And I just don't, I don't like it, man. That's just how I feel about it. But a huge shout out to Gracie Warren. Thank you for your opinion do appreciate the kind words that is gonna wrap up this video man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video and yeah don't cross it you cross the line i've been